You guys ready for a hair shot? <laughs> One month lost and I'm loving it. I am feeling like I am the. Still loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hey guys, I'm Erica Lasan and thanks for checking out Live Rich Mommy on Kerrika TV. I'm officially five weeks into my lap journey. I wanted to let you guys know how this process has been going because it's been a uh, friggin' amazing. <laughs> like seriously, this is one of the best hair decisions I've made within the past eight years. Last week, I decided to wash my hair by myself for the first time against my better advisement to myself <laughs> um, to go to a professional the first time. I put a poll up on Instagram to ask you guys if you were interested in seeing the process and 100% of you said yes. Yay! I'm gonna include it in this video. It was a mess. <laughs> but it's wash day for me. My first time washing my locks. I haven't washed them since I put them in four weeks ago and it should be very interesting. Like I needed some tips and tricks for how to avoid shrinkage. I'm gonna try the banding method. So here we go. I want to show you guys what one of these could potentially look like once it's done um, or how I'm doing it so that high key slash low key, if I'm doing it wrong, y'all can let me know in the comments. I want me to situate <laughs> Bonds, not the kind to make a dance. <laughs> like to change for the next time I do this bigger um, scrunchies so that I don't have to uh, try to stretch them as much and maybe I'd also be able to use less of them and two I really wish I would have gotten colorful scrunchies because I think that'll help in the process of removing the bands so I'm starting out with an apple cider vinegar rinse because this is typically something that I did on my natural hair and I saw that on Mature locks is a good way to detox the locks as well. So I figured, how bad could it be for starter locks? Jenna? So I'm washing my hair with Camille Rose because I haven't had a chance to um, get another shampoo. And I really love this one. It's always made my hair feel really soft as a waist natural. Clean him. Clean skin. I think I'm pretty pleased with the results. I could definitely see a lot of ick in the shower. I'm really glad I did the apple cider vinegar rinse, though so, um, I'm not sure it's something that I should do all the time. I'm, I'm just happy to have a clean scalp, y'all. <laughs> you know, you know, patting the little sections, just taking them and squeezing them. Add a little oil to my gazelle. There's some moisturizing in the home. <laughs> to take these bands down. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. This is the problem I was talking about. See, I can't even begin to see where the bands are. It's like opening a Christmas present. I'm gonna take the rest of these out and get back to y'all and let you know if I will ever be doing this again. Okay. I don't know guys. I don't want to say I'm disappointed. I don't really know what I expected. Though it is stretched out, it also has like a lot more crinkle to it than I typically would like. My hair also feels a lot more stiff. They fall differently. Like they had a nice little bounce to them that I don't know. It's it seems like it's gone. It feels so different. I don't want to say scraggly, 
but they look thinner. They don't look as full and rounded as they did before. I'm not sure if that's due to the fact that I did bend them or that's because I put a scarf on after I bended them. Also, something else to note is that now it's way more evident that it's time for me to retwist my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there you go. Long story short, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. At the end of the day, everything is a learning experience. If not for me, then hopefully for you guys. <laughs> um, although I definitely learned some things today. I only a little bounce. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I'm a little happier. <laughs> I waited two days to do this because yesterday they were still kind of flat, still feeling a little crunchy and weird. Um, but today, I think it's getting a little better. It still feels like a little dry. My scalp definitely feels dry. Er, than it did before like my hair doesn't feel as moisturized so I have to figure that out maybe um, spritzing it with something every other day um, so this is one month locked and so far I am loving the journey Woo! Woo! Jace is enjoying it too so now that you guys saw what happened while I was washing as well as the results this is now five days after having washed my hair and thank goodness it's starting to plump back up and it's starting to fall back in a position that I like though I know the lock process is very unpredictable so I would have had to deal with whatever the situation was afterwards anyway but there are a couple of really great things that I learned from doing that alone one is that I probably shouldn't use apple cider vinegar. <laughs> it's great for detoxing, but it's also very drying. No matter how much oil I put in it, no matter how much I missed it, it's like, it feels nice for a minute, but then it just sits on top. The oil just sits there, it doesn't really soak in. Another thing I learned is that I will probably not be banding because the same effect that I had banding, I probably could have gotten if I would have just braided my hair um, as far as stretching. I was trying to avoid shrinkage, but instead I got like crinkles, um, which kind of defeated the purpose. Which brings me to my next point. Oh my goodness. For all of you newly locked people out there who are on the starter lock journey as I currently am, I discovered a new resource for us and she is amazing. Her name is Yanni the Lockologist. Yes, lockologist. I had never heard of a lockologist before and that's apparently because she is the one and only. She trademarked that. Okay. I discovered Yanni's page three nights ago and I watched about five hours of her videos just because it was so informative. Every single lock question I have ever had throughout this process got answered within watching two of her videos just two and what's even better is that i discovered she was based in new jersey i want to tell you guys so much more about her but the way our attention spans are set up these days with that said um i want to share a couple of things that i learned from watching her videos the first thing i learned from yanni is how to moisturize your locks stop using regular water because apparently the way the water is treated is harming our hair more than it's doing it good so the thing that she told us to use to moisturize our hair is rose water just putting the rose water in your hair alone you feel an almost immediate difference which i was not expecting but it's so good and it smells divine the full moisturizing routine includes using um rose water and vitamin e oil and now that we've talked moisturizing basics let's talk oil you want to be very specific about the type of oil that you use do um, based on what it is that you are trying to achieve with your hair um, Yanni also suggests that you stick to one type of oil. Her oil of recommendation is castor oil in general. You should not use them on your locks itself. This is a question that I had. How do I moisturize my locks and use the oil topically? Everything that you put in your hair should be applied to your scalp. The third thing that I learned, what products should I use? Apparently the answer is you don't really need to use products. Oils, rose water, and to wash itself, Dr. Bronner's shampoo or soap. Castile soap, you guys know what I'm talking about. The fourth thing that I learned from Yanni is that I could use oils as my deep conditioner. Uh, so as you can see, oils is like becoming a topic of choice for this episode. The thing that Yanni suggests doing is doing a hot oil treatment, but naturally not using a steamer or anything like that. She basically suggests applying the oils to your scalp and covering your hair with a shower cap or a plastic bag or whatever the case is. And then with that, you do not rinse it out. The fifth and final thing that I've learned from Yanni, as far as washing your locks and lock maintenance, is that we do not have to wash our hair once a week. 
Yanni goes as long as three to four months before she washes her hair. I know, it's crazy. Apparently, Yanni says that the reason people's hair smell isn't because of how often they are or aren't washing their hair, but rather how they're washing their hair and the products that they're using. So this is supposed to be a short video. It's actually really long. That concludes this week's video. I hope it was informative to you guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment below letting me know how your starter lock journey is going. And I look forward to seeing you guys in month two. Until the next time, Live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye. If you like this video, hit the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.